So here we are adding a moon shadow. I've got my screen and it'll be very important that I hold it not really high up but actually rather close to the edge of the moon which is right over here. Here I've got an old toothbrush, obviously don't use it for anything other than this task. And now I'm going to put over here a little bit of ink and some pigment on it. I don't want to use too much water. If I do, um, what happens is a, a pool, and here you can see the water collecting, and I'll just give you a demonstration as you shake it through there. It doesn't really do a very effective job in terms of pigment because this isn't very dark. So what I instead need to do is I need to go over here to my Suzuri and scoop up as much of the ink that's there. And you can see now um, how black the toothbrush is. And we'll come back over here to where the moon is. And the most important point is obviously not to go over the center of the moon, but we want to put a little bit of a dusting or a shadow around the edge, and we want it to be as even as possible. So going quickly back and forth, moving this all the way around, you just go back and forth. Once you develop a technique, you can do kind of both at the same time like this, and uh, it makes it really, really efficient. Um, the key point is you do have to use quite a bit of speed in order to get that happening. And you can't really um, pick it up and peek at it in advance. You really have to wait and sort of see. Uh, so here, I'll just maybe do a little bit more. And again, a little bit of this moisture is collecting, I can see here. Um, and what that does is it makes the little dots a little bit larger and not quite as fine, which is more attractive. But either way, it adds a little bit of texture and variety to the painting. Okay, so we're just going to set these two things down now, and we'll lift up the moon, and here you can see a little bit of a shadow. So um, this is a very quick and easy technique to add a little bit of ornamentation into your paintings, and obviously it's a, a really nice way to do something. If I want to insinuate the sun, what I do with that same paper, or another one, is I outline this, I place it on the canvas or on the paper, and I do the exact same technique in here in the center of the hole, and this is to represent the sun. So the outline represents the moon, and if you fill it in like a disc like this, this won't be a perfect disc, but it gives you an idea, represents the sun. Okay, again, this is a, a little bit difficult to see. I'll just sort of outline the edge of where it is there. So that gives you either the sun much more intensively and darkly, or the moon just over here.